Hey guys, so if you saw the last video, you know that this one is supposed to be a video about uh, rude and inappropriate Sega merch. Unfortunately, I've not been able to get that finished yet because I'm waiting for the weather to improve as I really want to do a little bit outside. But the weather's raining, and it's cold, and E.T. doesn't like the uh, cold, wet weather. You'll understand when you see the video. Anyway, um, this game came out in the UK a couple of days ago, and I did want to get it. I know that there's a big, huge version, I think it's called the Outbreak Edition, which is, um, it comes with a giant zombie action figure doll thing. I didn't really want to get that one just because I knew I wouldn't do anything with it. I just kind of leave it in its box and shove it under my bed and that would be it. Um, I saw the Zombrex version and I kind of liked it just because it was something a little bit different than the standard special edition, but I wasn't going to buy it right away because I thought the price was a bit high. Well anyway, I went into Game Station today and I found it and I couldn't believe the price they were selling it at. So if I move the little sack boy. $36.99. This was from Game Station and this is a pretty good bargain considering if you go onto Game Station's website now, and I have checked, it's actually $44.99. And in some shops this version this is actually cheaper than the standard edition. So let's have a look and see what you get inside. And yes, I'm very well aware that the US gets a far more groovier Zombrex edition, but I don't particularly care because I wasn't originally going to get a super duper special edition of this one, of this game anyway. So let's take a look at Dead Rising 2 Zombrex edition. Okay, first thing is it comes in some kind of plastic outer cover. How does this work? Ah, slides out the top. That's the steel book. We'll have a look at that a bit later on. Now the main bonus is this. And when I saw this, I was actually quite shocked at how much it does actually look like some kind of medical tool. I hope you can see this in the light. Um, Ambuzol vas vaspilatin, my Latin sucks, auto injector for emergency or daily use now lasts 24 hours. See what it says here. Zombrex is not a cure. It should only be used once every 24 hours as directed. Safety administrator Zombrex within within the hour. Oh, safely administer Zombrex within the hour leading up to your prescribed 24 hour in interval. Due to the rise of infectious diseases, do not share Zombrex. Administrator, admin, administer Zombrex before use by date to ensure effectiveness. Yeah. Wow. Well, there you go. Well, there's actually instructions here. For the relief of light decomp decomposition, unfamiliar cravings, increased shambling, her herd instinct. Sounds like when I was a teenager. Terrible peeling, inconstant pulse, rotting odors, rigor mortis. Well, that just describes everybody on the bus into town, really. Uh, let's see. Uh, instructions. Scrub hands thoroughly with hot soap and water before opening. Disinfect injected area with alcoholic rub and soapy water. Inject needle with con conviction to, pen to penetrate... Oh, God's sake. Learn to read. That's my new New Year's resolution. Learn to read. Administer all medication, then dispose off immediately. Well, let's have a look. Now... Believe it or not, this isn't actually a, a syringe from what I've been led to believe. Although it does look like one. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. Yep, as you know by now, it's a pen. It's broken. Oh, no it's not. There we go. So you push it to make it go out. And it's got a little quick release thing. To make it go back in. Um, well, I can safely say I'm glad I didn't pay $44.99 for this because I'd be very disappointed right about now. Ooh, actually says Zombrex on the pen there. I would be greatly disappointed if I paid the full £44 for this because for what is effectively a pen, this is really not worth the extra cash, but for 
um, what was it, 36.99? Yeah, 36.99, which is pretty much the price of a new game anyway. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it. Um, I don't think I'll ever use it though, just because, well, look at it. There's no way you'd be able to refill that, or if there is a way, you'd never get the same effect. So I don't think I'll ever use that one. Anyway, let's take a look at the steel book. The well, it's actually like a real set of pills that you get from the doctor. It's actually got a list of days on them, what time you should take them. Back of the steel book is the well, nothing different. So you can't really tell it's actually a video game just yet. Aha. Okay, inside we've got the making of movie and the disc, the game disc. Oh, that's going to be fun trying to get out the box. Oh god, let's see if I can do it. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Right, that's good. Okay, so that's that. And the good old manual. Black and white or colour? I'm betting black and white. Ah, yes, black and white. Um, it's just a bog standard manual with, um, oh, character bios from the looks of it. Okay, um, inside is just, well, it just looks like the inside of a medic, of a set of pills, really. I uh, don't really know what else to say on that one. Uh, it's a nice. Nice little piece if you want just a little bit, a little something extra. You haven't got much space, so or money for the giant zombie doll version. Uh, back of the sleeve box just says Zombrex, the gift of life. Who will you give it to? Contents: Dead Rising 2 game, Terror is Reality making of DVD, and the Zombrex auto injector pen, and the usual groovy bits and bobs. Yeah, um, I don't know. Um, I've not yet played the game, I've not been following it, so I guess I'll rest full judgement until I play it. But for a, for the price of a normal game, which this was, um, pretty cool, quite happy with it. I'm glad I didn't pay $44.99, as I've already said. Um, I don't plan on ever getting the giant zombie doll version, just because it doesn't really interest me, and I'd probably just put it in the corner somewhere and then I'd never see it again. But if you've got that version, I hope it'll bring you years of happiness. So yeah, uh, that's just a little quick filler video till I get this other one sorted and if it goes well, I really think you'll enjoy it, but I'm anticipating a lot of problems when I finally get around to finishing off the more complicated bits. Um, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe and all that jazz and don't turn into a zombie. Goodbye.